Bantamweight title. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. This is the fight that fans really wanted to see. The consensus top two 135ers in the world. The champion doesn't necessarily see it that way. She believes she is a level up. She has defended the title in the past. That is a great source of confidence for her as she tries to remain the hunted here at 135 pounds. Oh, she left at her and lands the diving punch to the head. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, wow, oh! There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotti has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up in here. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. All right, coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. All right, 
fights. The round one is underway after her last fight. You heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC women's bantamweight champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than the number one contender. We'll see if she can prove it here and turn those words into actions as round one gets underway. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Now trying to trap an arm. with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges. And she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Yeah, no doubt about it, that is some opportunistic grappling right there, and nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of the UFC career. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LaVing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, ten seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC Phantomweight Champion of the World, the Asian. So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC Women's Phantomweight Champion. A lot of people thought this was a qualified credential number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight, and the celebration is